Hi guys, Dave here, and today I'm going to show you the outro solo to Goodbye to Love by The Carpenters. Um, great solo by Tony Peluso. Uh, first of all, I'm going to take you through the solo phrase by phrase, and I will also show you the chord sequence that happens underneath it, just to give you a better idea of um, how he's come up with his note choices. Okay, let's go in for a closer look. So solo two, uh, this is in the key of C major, and he starts with like a little kind of a bluesy C major run. So that first phrase uh, on the A, we're just going five, six, seven. Five, seven on the D, and then five, seven, five on the G. So for the next bit, we're bending seven on the G three times, up a whole step. The first two are kind of cut off as well, so they're more staccato. Then the last one, bend and release it. Then five on the G, seven D, and I'm gonna slide into nine. Then seven, nine on the G and then eight on the B. And then to finish off at 10, eight on the B. And the next one. So for that, we're playing um, 10 on the B and we're just bending it up a half step. One fret, three times, like that. Bend it one more time and release it. Then hammer on eight to nine, and then 10, then 10 G, 10 D, and then one more time. Like so. So for this, um, the next phrase, we're gonna bend and release just a half step on the seventh fret of the G, then play five. Do that again. And then this time it's gonna, we're gonna bend a full or a whole step. Bend and release, five again. Do that again. And then we play five on the E. Next phrase. So for that, I'm bending, releasing a half step on seven on the B, then play five, and then same thing on the G actually. So half step on the seventh fret, bend and release five, then seven D, and then five four on the G. So. Like that. Okay. So our next phrase, um, five five on the G, seven five on the D, five G, seven five D. Then eight on the B, we're gonna bend up a full step and release. Hammer on five to seven on the G. Then back to five. Then seven five. Sounds like this. like that. So for the next bit we're playing a C major triad so that's uh, 9 on the G then 8B 8E then 10 on the E wide vibrato and then we go 810 for that we're um, bent oh 
suspend and release a whole step on the 10. Pull off onto A, then 10 again, and then 8A. Like that. So um, this is slightly out of key because it's playing over an F minor chord at this point. So um, eight on the B, uh, upper half step, eight on the E, then re-pick that bent note on the on the on the on the B. So that's the eight. Lace it down. And then we just go six, eight, six. One more six. Then five. Then five G. One more on the G and then slide it down. Like that. Right, then he plays uh, a couple of power chords. So we're gonna play an F5. So that's one E, three A. Then move it up to frets. And you get a G5 power chord. Then move that across a string. So we're now five, sorry, three A, five D. And you've got your C power chord. And then we get this little run up to kind of start the next cycle of the solo. So sliding to seven on the A, then five, seven, D. So, and then five, seven, five on the G. Like that. Like that. Okay. Now we get it's kind of um, like polyrhythm sort of lick. So what we're doing is we're playing seven on the G and we're bending it up a full step and playing eight on the B. We're going to do that three times. But it's not in triplets, you're just playing straight eight. So every time you play, you're starting on a different part of the beat. Then you do that bend again, but this time you're going to end on eight on the E. And you're going to play that one, two, three, four, five, five times. I think that was five. Uh, and then you're going to bend and release again. So um, that's seven, up a whole step and back down again. Then five, then seven on the D, five on the G. And then on the end there, it's just seven, five on the G. Right, next phrase. So um, that's seven on the G, bend up a half step, re-pick it and bend it, uh, release it. Play five, seven, five. Then bend seven up a whole step. Release five. Then 7D, then 5G. And you end up with that phrase. Okay, next phrase. So for this, got that little um, C major triad again. So slide nine on the G, then 8B, 8E. Then 12 on the B, 10. So I'm gonna hammer pull off eight, 10, sorry, 10, 12, 10. Then re-pick 10, pick it one more time and slide to eight. 
and then re-pick eight. So you get this. Like so. Right, so for this, quite straightforward. Um, eight, six, five on the B. Seven, five on the G. And then five on the D. And then do it again. For this, I'm just um, on the 10th fret of the B, bend and release a half step, then to eight, then on the G we go, that's 10, nine, nine, then 10, five, five. So our next phrase, half step bend or a pre-bend. Release, then play five. That's all on the G string. And make it cut off as well. Do that again. And then this time, uh, you're gonna bend a whole step. And then five again. And then we just hammer five to seven. And then back to five. So all on the G string, that. Then you get the F5 again, G5, and then C5. Now this time, um, I'm gonna hold down three strings. So that's five, uh, sorry, three on the A, five on the D, five on the G. So play the chord, and then I play five D, five G, and then back to five D. And I'll just let those ring in. Right, so our next phrase, um, 5D, five, 5 on the G, then we got 6-5B, 7-5G, then 5-5, five, five, then slide to 9, then 8B, eight, 8E. So uh, we go 10 8 on the E, bend and release a half, yeah, half step bend on 10th fret, pull off onto A, play 8 again, and then one more time. And then uh, this follows the chords underneath. So we're going to do an F minor triad. So that's 8, E, 9, B, and 10, G. It's kind of a triplet when you do it. Do that one more time. And then we're going to change to a C triad. So that's 8, E, 8, B, and 9, G. Phrase. So we're just walking down, all on the G string goes 9, 7, 5, 7, and then 5, 4. Right, next phrase. This is right on the uh, on the fade out. This is so for that I'm on the A and I go three three slide to seven then play five D then play five D again then hammer five seven on the D and then five on the G 
So that's the rhythm that you get. And then he almost does the same thing again, but he, instead of having the rest in between, he just plays another five. So the second time he plays it, three, three, slide into seven on the A. And then we go five, five, five on the D. Then hammer on five, seven again. And then five on the G again. So that whole bar. Like that. And then it gets quite simple now. Sliding to nine on the G. Back sliding to seven. Then five. Then seven, five. Sliding to eight. Seven. Five. And uh, that's basically as much as I could uh, hear on the fade out. And then, then that's it. That's that's the solo done. Um, really good solo, this. Um, like I say, it's interesting solo because it doesn't do the normal kind of just pentatonic runs, although there is some of that. Um, he, he does kind of um, pay close attention to the chords that are being played underneath, especially the ones that kind of slightly shift out a key, like the F minors that you hear from time to time. Um, he, he kind of yeah, highlights the notes out of those chords quite a bit. Here are the chords for the second solo. Um, this one kind of goes up a key, so now we're in the uh, key of C. And again, just like the first solo, you're going to have um, a lot of slash chords. So start with C major this time. So uh, I'm just borrowing on the fifth fret on the B, G and D strings and third fret on the A string. Two of those, and then we change to a G over C. So for that, I'm barring across the third fret, um, but the strings I'm playing are 3B, 4G, 5D, 3A. chord is a C7 over B flat. Um, the way I'm playing that, again I'm, I'm barring across the 5th fret, but the strings I'm playing are 5B, 5G, 8D and 6E. For two of those, then we're going to play F over A. And that is 6B, 5G, G, 3D, and 5A. Like that. Then we're going to play F minor over A flat. So that's 6B, 5G, 6D, 4E. go C over G. So I'm buying the fifth fret on the B, G and D strings and I'm playing three on the E. Like that. Then we get an F sharp half diminished or minor seven flat five. So for that I'm playing one B, two G, two D, two E. I'm going to play a G sus4, so barring on the third fret, but I'm playing 3B, 5G, 5D, and 3E. Just for a single, then I play a G. Again, play your regular shapes if you like. I am playing 3B, 4G, 5D, and 3E. So you get this. So the first half of the progression is this. For 
the second half, it kind of does mostly the same thing. It's just the very end that's different. So I do the C, G over C, C7 over B flat, F over A, F minor over A flat, C over G, and then it's just going to go F for a single. So that's, uh, I haven't told you this one, uh, 1B, 2 G, 3D, and 1E. You can play a regular F shape, that's fine. And move up two frets for a G, and then we do two on the C. And that's the second half of chord progression. And then all of that, it just gets repeated around again and again um, for the till it fades out, basically. So I'll play it for you, for you once. So uh, very much like solo number one, it's got a really nice um, chord sequence. And uh, just like in the first solo, you'll notice that um, if you kind of marry it up with the solo, that um, some of the note choices that the guitarist makes um, kind of mirrors the chords that are underneath. And uh, a really good to th thing to think about uh, if you're trying to construct like a, a melodic solo that kind of fits well with the chords. Um, so um, a bit more than your your average rock ballad solo on this one, definitely, uh, because of the chord sequence itself. Kind of, you have to kind of adapt slightly to to match the chords that are underneath. Anyway, again, another little uh, nice little chord sequence. <laughs> 